Oh, here they go. Sirens. Sirens. <laughs> Sirens. Yeah, they got busted. They got busted. So now again, actively surveilling as soon as I get off the bus. All right, it started with the noise campaign again. Why are they so obsessed with me? I really gotta know. Is it because they microchip me? Could it be so that they're trying to shut me up from exposing what they did? Anyway, today was a good day. But I actually got to show you guys how what I'm talking about when I used to talk about how the NYPD would be in your predator department and predator officers would use civilians as you know like particularly with women they will have women walk towards me stick there um, and as the women get close to me uh, past me the predator cops will be behind these women sticking their fingers in their ears and looking at their watches right this is what they used to do so I'm glad I'm able to show another form of this in terms of you know how the your predator department Again, engaging illegally microchipping people, engaging illegal uh, surveillance, as well as illegal criminal acts, right? Covert drugging, covert psychological manipulation, covert warfare, in order to entrap, manipulate, weaponize people against one another. Right, and a big part of it is because, particularly as a black person, and, and as black people, they don't want our minds to be awakened to the truth. Right, they fear the information, the truth that's out there on the internet, and so they try to curtail us from uh, looking, looking for the truth, looking at the truth, and moving away from their bastardized version of the African spiritual system which is called Christianity. Christianity is a poison in the minds of black people and we need to move away from that. And this is what they're afraid of. I'm not just one person that they're worried about, but every black person that come into consciousness, uh, become consciously aware of the truth. All right, talk to you guys in the next video.